it is me Nikki here I hope you all are doing great I am so excited about my new entryway cabinet many of you may remember I had a mirror cabinet here which had barware in it but I moved that to the dining room because it fit better in there and I had my shoe cabinet in the dining room which didn't really fit in the dining room and I needed to upgrade that cabinet and so this is the upgrade and now it's in the perfect place and you guys know how much I love Safavea furnishings and so when I saw this piece I fell in love with it and I have been a customer of Safavea for years but you may have remembered about a year or so ago I became a brand ambassador for Safavea and so it's so nice to now when I need that perfect piece for my home be able to work with them to get that perfect piece and thank you Safavea for sending this out to me I picked it out and I absolutely love it because in my entryway I needed a piece that was not white because I have so many white pieces throughout my home the entryway is all white the banister the walls I needed to bring in a little bit of color but a neutral because I'm not a a light, I don't like a lot of color in my home per se, but I love color brought in by neutrals. And so this is the perfect gray and I just love it. It really goes nice in the room. And I love how it fits all the things that I needed to fit. And I'm going to show you that now, along with show you how I put those fall touches in the piece and on top of the piece. Okay, so let's start with on top of the cabinet. Now to add a little fall to the top, I had my candy tear tray here. You all know if you've been with me a while, I love putting you know, candy bars or some type of candy on my entryway table in the fall. I have one in my di my dining room also, but I have this smaller one here on the entryway table. This tear tray I had from last year, I think I got it at Home Goods. You know, I put a little uh, white pumpkin on the top with some pine cones and then added the candy. Now I added another touch this year. I put lights on the tray and these are simply battery operated lights that I got from Tuesday morning. They're done in that little copper. So they have that um, kind of warm fall feel and they blend into the tray beautifully and this just gives a great touch to the candy bar so I just I love that and especially at night it just really is cozy great, great ambiance and it's even better than lighting a candle now the key if you're going to do this is you want to make sure that you get a light that is not going to get hot because this is chocolate and that's what I love about these lights they don't get hot so the chocolate won't melt or anything like that and then I just simply have my two white pumpkins out here just simplistic for the fall you know like I said I'm, I'm getting away from doing just overkill with spring and fall and you know Christmas that's a different story but for fall I want to keep it simple so here you can see it's kind of cleaned off before I put my candy tray out and then um, when I put the candy tray it just really made a big difference and warmed it up so now I want to take you on the inside of the cabinet and under the cabinet to kind of show you how I have that organized and the purposes for everything so let's start with the bottom of the cabinet. Now this is where I have the opening here. And when I saw the cabinet online, I fell in love with this section because I knew it would be perfect for shoes. The key is I did not want to just line shoes up or like when guests come, then line it up and you still have to view the shoes. So I said I would purchase baskets and put them under here, which I already knew I was going to do that. So these baskets don't come with the cabinet, but you can easily find baskets to go under this cabinet. And I, I love that about it. That was not a problem at all finding the baskets but I love now that when guests come they put their shoes in here and the shoes you even though you can see through the baskets it's not intrusive it doesn't look like you're looking at a bunch of shoes the baskets really disguise the shoes and I love that about it and it keeps things airing out also but the baskets like I said came from at home and they're very affordable I I think they were like six or eight dollars or something like that but you slide them in they fit perfectly and I love the look and so this is just perfect for me I, I was really happy with that now let's talk about the drawer here so in the drawer you will remember from my previous shoe cabinet organization that I always keep socks on hand for my guests because we are shoeless home we don't wear shoes in our home but if I guess come over and they need socks to put on their feet I want to have them available and I have them in three different sizes kids men and women's and I get them from the dollar store because when they take a sock they don't give it back they take it with them and so these are affordable because they come two in a pack for kids and women and three in a pack for men for only a buck great affordable and it's good for my guests 
to have something to put on their feet. So I love it, it works out perfectly. Now to make it look cutesy, and you remember this from my last video, I tie a little ribbon around them because I don't want it to look like just a drawer full of socks when you open it up, when you come to my home. And so I also have shower caps in the back and the shower caps are for uh, when someone comes to work on our home and they don't bring shoe covers, a lot of times they do, but if they happen to not have shoe covers, they can put these on uh, their feet. And this is an economical way to have shoe covers for service workers and things like that that come to your home. They're the perfect size for all kinds of um, feet. So I love them and you get a large amount for a buck. And then what I do with the socks is I just tie a little ribbon around them. I was using black ribbon, but I changed the gray since so much gray is in my home now. So I just got some gray ribbon, simple from Michaels, tied it around the socks, and it really just gives such a great look. I really love it. And I recently stocked up on them. So definitely when I went to, you know, pick them up, there was a ton there. So definitely if this is something you want to do, you, you know, you always find the socks there. They're great. And then I have the organizers here, which are deep because I needed something deep to keep a lot of socks because when I stock up, I like to go ahead and stock up so that it lasts me a while. And they're really deep. And that way I can put like two, three layers and have plenty of socks on hands. And not all guests use them all the time that they come to my house. It's, you know, here and there. So it's not every guest that come to my house need um, socks. It's, you know, some of them have socks on or whatever the case may be. So this drawer really uh, works and functions well now and has plenty of space. Okay, so the next drawer here, this is kind of my gift drawer. I, I love giving my guests something when they leave my home. I'm always giving, when you leave my house, you're, you're always leaving with something. And so I have this drawer now where I can put little things in. And I love when I go to the Target dollar spot or Michael's um, dollar section. I love all the little kind of fall things they have, Christmas things they have. And so I put little things in here, like I have some kind of preserves in here, a marmalade in there, some hand lotion, all kind of for fall theme so that when you come to my house and we're headed out the door, walking you to the door, I can just reach in here and say, hey, you know, happy fall or have a good week or whatever the case may be. And they had this at the um, Michael's dollar fifty spot and it worked great. And so in the cabinets here, I keep open for purses. I don't really keep my purse in here. I keep my purse upstairs, but if I have a doctor's appointment or anything, I may stuff it in the night before. That way it's ready to go in the morning. But usually these are empty so that when company come over, they can put their hat in there or they can put their purse in there or whatever they need to store away. So I like to keep that open. So this is the cabinet. I hope you like it. I hope you like how I have it organized and found it helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. I definitely will put the name of this piece down in the description box along with the link to Safavea's website. Definitely check them out. You will love their furnishings. I love it. Even when I go to buy something, I Google Safavea so that I can find the piece that I need. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest. Everything is at home with Nikki. I would love to have you over there. Also, please definitely check out my blog at homewithnikki.com. I want to thank you for watching. And also don't forget I would love for you to like, comment, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, definitely join me on this channel. I have some really exciting things coming your way and you definitely don't want to miss out on it. So have a beautiful day, my friends, and this is Nikki saying goodbye.